What's going on everybody, Dialerix TV back with another video. And in today's video, I'll be discussing a potential trade pertaining to the Los Angeles Lakers and the Boston Celtics point guard, Kimball Walker. So this article is via Inquisitor. I'm gonna be reading this from my laptop. Um, it says the Los Angeles Lakers could trade Dennis Strude to Cal Kuzma in the second rounder for Kimball Walker. Uh, this article is via JB Barulo with Inquisitor. This article also comes from Bleacher Report as well. It says Boston Celtics point guard, Kimball Walker, is one of the veteran players that are highly expected to change teams in the 2021 offseason. After two seasons of working together, a Bleacher Report revealed that Walker and the Celtics have reached a mutual agreement to part ways this summer, despite their failed attempts to move him last offseason and before the 2021 trade deadline, the Celtics would try to trade Walker once again when the 2020-2021 NBA season is officially over. Kimball Walker takes his talent to purple and gold. He says, according to Jason Reed of Fanside at Lake Show's life, one of the teams that could take a chance on Walker this summer is the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers would be facing a huge dilemma regarding their starting point guard position in the 2021 offseason as as Dennis Schroeder is set to become an unrestricted free agent. Schroeder may have recently expressed his desire to return to the Lakers in the 2021-2022 NBA season, but with his poor performance in the NBA playoffs, the Lakers may think twice about resigning him if he demands a max contract, demands a max contract in free agency. Potential trade scenarios. In his article, Reed came up with a blockbuster trade idea that would enable the Los Angeles Lakers to acquire Walker from the Celtics. So the proposed trade would be Cal Cole Kuzma, a future second round pick and Dennis Schroeder. Now, in my honest opinion, I think that Kimball Walker would be a great addition and a great asset to the Lakers. But I agree with this article, you know, you know, I believe that Kimball Walker could provide a lot of scoring, could be another scoring option and another scoring threat for the Los Angeles Lakers. However, I think that a player who, who I truly believe should be at the top of the Lakers list should be Bradley Bill. Um, but however, I do think that um, Kimball Walker would be the next best option. Kimball Walker has great ball handling skills. He's quick. He can create off the dribble. Um, and I just think that he would be a, another scoring threat to take the pressure off of Anthony Davis. Of course, Anthony Davis is injury prone. I think that Anthony Davis is the most hated Laker right now simply because people will never shift blame to LeBron James and hold him accountable because he has a bunch of fanboys in the media. However, uh, I do believe that, you know, in certain Kimball Walker will help the Lakers, you know, help LeBron James because LeBron James is on the tail end of his career. He's getting older. So, you know, to avoid the injuries like they did last year, you can insert Kimball Walker and it'll take a lot of the pressure off of Anthony Davis and LeBron James. You have another guy who could come in just in case you want to sit Anthony Davis a few games or in case you want to sit LeBron James and you have a reliable person. You know, I think that Kimball Walker would be a better addition to the Lakers than Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook and LeBron James game is very similar. You know, Russell Westbrook is a nightmare. I love his attitude but he doesn't know how to channel it properly, and he's a hothead. Uh, he lets people, he let fans and people that don't matter get in his head. I think that LeBron James and Russell Westbrook would be a disaster because their games are very similar, and I think that Russell Westbrook could sometimes just get in his own way, and it'll get to the point where I don't think Russell Westbrook is open to listening to his coaches which is why Kevin Durant left. Everywhere Russell Westbrook goes is a disaster, and he's the problem. Once again, he's the problem. I could already predict what's going to happen. You know, Russell Westbrook's going to be driving to the hole, and LeBron, he's going to get all the blame anyway, which will probably be a good thing because Russell Westbrook needs to be criticized. You know, he doesn't get criticized. He's pampered, uh, and, you know, they protect him in the media. So I could see him driving full speed ahead to the rim, um, trying to chase his triple-doubles. LeBron James is going to be chasing his triple-doubles. To me, Kimball Walker is the next best option. I don't think that uh, you know Brad Stevens utilized him correctly. And now it's a great thing because you got to see that Kyrie Irving wasn't the problem. But that's my honest opinion. And also, I've seen somewhere where the Lakers could be adding Al Horford. So Al Horford and Kimball Walker with LeBron James and Anthony Davis would, to me, would be a powerhouse. However, I still believe that the Lakers need a true 
leader. Now, when I say the Lakers need a true leader, they need someone else who can hold LeBron James accountable. For example, Rajon Rondo, some people, you know, some people are passive and some people are very direct and they're very honest. You need someone like Rajon Rondo who can hold a superstar accountable. Rajon Rondo is the type of player that he doesn't care how big of a name you are. He don't care how much of a superstar you are. He's going to treat you like you're a regular, average, everyday person. He doesn't care if you're Anthony Davis. He don't care how much of a celebrity or how big you think you are as a celebrity. He's going to hold you accountable. And he's going to let you know you bleed just like I bleed. As you've seen in one of the highlights on YouTube in the Clippers versus the Mavericks series, Kawhi Leonard took an elevator. He took a wild shot with the time left. Rajon Rondo approached him. He told him like that was a bad shot like I said LeBron James need players that's going to hold him accountable you know and you see that when LeBron James is at his best when he has someone who does hold him accountable you know i.e. Dwayne Wade, Tyron Lu, Rajon Rondo, LeBron James has won championships with people who has not treated him as you know who's going to kiss his butt every five minutes and just worship him. But LeBron James needs someone who's going to challenge him and bring the best out of him. Uh, when he has someone like that, LeBron James, we see that he's always at the top of his game. He's won all four of his championships by having someone challenge him at the highest level. So I think that the Lakers will need someone like a Rajon Rondo to come you know, off the bench to be in a rotation. To me, I didn't think that Dennis Schroeder did as bad as people making it seem in the last game of the first, you know, in the first round versus the Phoenix Suns. Um, Dennis Schroeder was diving on the floor for the ball. He actually played a huge role and to the Lakers changing the momentum during that game, were able to climb back and fight back and to cut the lead to, I believe, like 10 points. I think they can use Dennis Schroeder as trade bait you know I don't believe that Dennis Schroeder is worth the money that he's asking for 